go my empties again. I tend to go through products quick. <laughs> so I feel like these kind of videos are helpful for you because then you get to see because I've actually used the product not as a first impression or maybe two or three tries. It's more of like, okay, it's empty. What is your final result? Because I should have an answer right now, right? Good afternoon, good evening, my dears, and thank you so much for pushing the little play button. Thank you, I really appreciate it because today in Texas it is hot. I'm like literally sweating and like tank tops and all that. I'm just like, woo! It is hot, like no coffee. This is how hot it is, my dears. I'm drinking cold, cold water. It's my first water of the day, and it's like 10 a.m. Before we begin, I want to remind you please consider subscribing and remember push the little notification bell because it will let you know when my videos are up and load and posted and just remember I post every Mondays and Fridays and if I do miss a day it's because I live in Texas the only location I'm able to film is outside so I am literally the mercy of weather and lately it's been bipolar it's been raining it's been oh I'm gonna be nice for like 10 minutes and then right and so I, I, with the equipment I yeah, so I do apologize, but I'm trying to get things done as fast as humanly possible. Also, I have this cute little makeup look. Hmm, and I did use some of the products that's on my face from the last May BoxyCharm. I'll also link it down in the description below just in case you missed it. And if you're interested of how I got this look, like, you know, then let me know and I'll do a tutorial. Hmm, so let's go on with the products because it's a bit. Right, my dears. Now, as usual, I'm just gonna take products out, discuss it, my pros, cons, etc. Because, uh, yeah, I can't exactly, it, it's too much. So, we're gonna discuss it as we go through. So, it's gonna be in no particular order. <laughs> Alright, the first thing that I come out is the Briagio Be Gentle, Be Kind Kale Plus replenishing superfood conditioner no harsh sulfate silicones or parafines as you can tell this is like literally gone it's like see-through plastic and I do have the shampoo of it I have like that much left of it because I don't know about you but I tend to go through conditioner a lot faster than shampoo I don't know mystery of life I don't know even though I still have a little bit left on my shampoo in this what I we purchase this no. Here's why. Even though it doesn't have a lot of the harsh chemicals, a lot of the bad stuff with it, and it does have good ingredients, Ooh, moisturizing. Like after I wash my hair or whatever, my hair is very thin. You know, I, I have very little hair. You know, as you get older, your hair falls off. A little dramatic there, but it, you, your hair thins out, okay? Just a little FYI, your hair will thin out. And uh, this is too moisturizing for me. Because I do have a little bit of oils, so I'm not completely dry, so I recommend like this for if you have a very dry scalp and you don't create a lot of oils, like oil buildup, this would be good. But for me, it just left it too flat, too, it's too much moisture and it, it just, it did look good. So, I mean, I used it up because I bought it, <laughs> it's expensive, but will I buy it again? No. Next thing that I went through is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Now I did do a mini review in how to use it. You can watch it just in case you missed it. I'll also link it down in the description below. This I did like it. Just a little 10 second review. I did like it and I did feel like my skin got nice and bright but it just you can't use it all the way because even like from here the hole is like so little it's like little little to where it won't come out so I think the packaging the way they made it they should have made that hole a little a little bit bigger and the flowers here mm, yeah but FYI it does have rose hence the name rose toner and uh, some people are allergic to this so just test it on your skin first but is this a repurchase I would say no only because even though I did like it, I was so expensive, you know, I, I, I don't have that type of money. And if I cannot use everything, that bothers me. Like, I can't take this out. Like, no matter how many times I'm, like, shaking it to death, I can't take it out. That's expensive. So, the fact that I cannot use an entire product, that's problematic to me. So, no. The 
next thing in the box is the Body Graphic Pro Makeup Brush Cleaner. This came in a boxy charm. I can't remember what month, but it came in a boxy charm. I used it. It does clean. It does. It's good for travel. Would I say it's the best? No, because I felt like I had to use a lot more out of this product to clean my brushes, like in between. I do deep, deep clean my brushes once a month, but in between, you know, I do use a regular cleaning spray. I like another one, which I'll show you in a second better. This one is more like an emergency type of thing, but is it the best? No. What I, well, technically I kind of did purchase because it went into a box of charm, but I didn't know it was in there. Yeah, it was one of those things. But would I recommend this? No. And the next one, of course, is the other one that I like better, and I think these are an Every single one of my empties is the Sephora Dry Clean Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray. This is 22.0. This lasts me two weeks because I go through my makeup. I do wear makeup almost every day, I would say. And this cleans everything. Oh, I still have a little bit left. I may have to go back and reuse some of this. But this is wonderful. It has a nice smell. It leaves your brushes very, very nice. As you can tell, the little bit in here that I wasn't aware that was left. I don't know if you're able to see it by the camera. It has a nice mist to it. And I buy these like every two weeks and it cleans my brushes wonderfully until I do my deep brush. And if you want a video of how I actually deep, deep clean my brushes, let me know. Comment below. The next thing is actually a new product that I discovered because I did I showed you my Briogeo, but lately, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna be honest here, is I was noticing that right on my scalp right here, I was getting some dandruff. And I'm like, where is this coming from? I'm very picky about what I eat. I only like drink plenty of water, coffee. I don't really drink much of anything else. And I wash my hair. I ain't gonna lie, this may sound gross, but I don't wash my hair every day because if I do, my hair gets super dry and crunchy and it, it starts to break break off and the fact that I also straighten my hair because my hair is really really curly I look really temple like without me fixing it it's yeah no and then you can't put a brush through it it's a whole thing so I wash my hair every couple of days but I was noticing that and I'm like what in the world and so I was trying to figure out what I can do to fix it I even tried my DIY mask and I do have a video of that mask. I'll link it down in the description below as well, just in case you haven't seen it. Because I like putting mask on my hair like you would with your face, but nothing was working. So I went into what I did when I was younger. My mom did use head and shoulders on me, but I noticed this new thing. It's the head and shoulders sculpt detoxifying pre-wash mask with eucalyptus and mint blend. I think I said that part of the impurities to refresh and restart your scalp this is literally maybe like a dollar something and they have this one eucalyptus and mint and I believe they have like they, they have one other one I have it over I think with tea tea tree or whatever and I like those things because they're natural now here's the thing the way I do it is that I put my shampoo right and then I rinse it off and then I will put this over my head wash it in now here's the thing it's Depending which one you have, you will feel like mint. Like your head feels like it is like being washed and it's minty and you get a tickly sensation. I ain't gonna lie. But I'll leave it there for a few minutes. So what I do, I get my little sponge and I, you know, wash my body with soap and whatsoever while well, that's in my hair and then I wash it off. And then I'll put my conditioner. So, and then afterwards my hair is nice and beautiful and I haven't had a dandruff problem since. So this could be your answer to your prayers, my dears. So just a little FYI. I bought this at Kroger and they sell it at HEB. Other places I don't know, but just a little FYI, if you're having issues or if your hair feels a little bit, <clears throat> yeah. Because an alternative that I used to use is still from the brand name Briogero. It's this one and it is fantastic. It's charcoal and it does work, but it's a little bit more expensive. So if you're on the budget, kind of how I am, this is an excellent alternative and this is definitely repurchased like i already have two more in the bathroom as we speak the next thing that we go through it is the is the belief believe in truth 15 milliliters the true cream aqua balm oh, i love this moisturizer like literally it's gone my dears it is clean clean gone mm -hmm. that's right i said gone it is nice like 
barely, like, on a barrel. Like, it leaves your skin nice and moisturizing. Now, would I repurchase this? Of course. But I'm switching and I'm actually testing a moisturizer right now and I'm always testing products. So I'll let you know about that product soon. But like everything else, soon, soon, soon. <laughs> so this, I like it. It keeps my face nice and moisturized. Now keep in mind, I also have normal skin. So it doesn't lead to many issues. Now, if you have oily skin, I think this will work as well or normal to oily because it doesn't, it's not heavy. Now, if you have dry skin to extra dry skin, I wouldn't recommend this. And maybe border to normal to dry, possibly not because it, it's hydrating but not wet, watery, it's not thick. So I would recommend this to, as indicated, normal to oily, but if you're dry at any point of your skin, no. But this is definitely a repurchase that I went through, I know I'm trying to go through these products quick, is the chocolate eyeliner. This is the DS from DLS Cosmetics Bang Beauty. This came in a boxy charm, I believe, last year. And this, would I ever repurchase from this brand? No, and here's why. It's not exactly all the way empty, but it is so dry to where you can't take anything out. Like, you just scrape it and it's like stuck. So if you don't use this as like within like as fast as humanly possible, it'll get rocky and it'll stay. You can't take anything out and the product's unusable. So, and I always try to like lock my products together, but it's just, it's just, yeah. So would I recommend this? No. The next thing that I went through, and I, it, it took me a while to go through this because I don't go through blushes fast. I just don't. This is the Too Faced, the baby size, the Love Flush Love Hanger. As you can tell, it's hit pan. Because with blushes, I do use blushes, and there was a time I didn't use blushes as much. I'm starting to get into blushes again, but I also use these as eyeshadows. I also have a video on how to use blushes as eyeshadows, you know, multitask as well. I think I posted that last year. I'll link it down in the description below just in case you haven't seen it yet. But this, yeah, it's gone. Will I ever repurchase it? Not really because I don't go through blushes very fast as indicated and there's only one type of blush I would possibly repurchase. This didn't wow me all the way. This was more of let me hit pan because I don't want to just linger there. So yeah, no. And it didn't last on my skin very long either. So that's a disappointment. The next thing that I went through is another eyeliner. This is from Bobbi Brown, Espresso Ink 7. Now the thing about this one is this. It's kind of like the Big Bang. You you can see there's still product in there, right? Here's the problem. I love the product, it's nice and cream. You can create your eyeliner, it's fantastic. But again, after a while, it gets hard as a rock and then you, it, it's unusable. So, Bobby Brown's expensive. And I have a pet peeve. If I'm gonna use a product, I wanna hit pant, I wanna use it all up. But if I'm like products like these to where I can't even finish them, not because I don't want to, but it's just, it, it, I can't, it's unusable, I'm not purchasing you again. And this is not a recommendation. And this one just goes on sale. I wonder why. Man, I'm just getting nasty in this video, aren't I? <laughs> Unplanned, by the way, unplanned. Now the next product that I went through is this milk makeup, as you can tell. It is through, like you can see the middle, yes. It's the toner. Now, I bought the mini one because I'm not very familiar with milk. I know they're more of a natural brand type of thing. And so I bought the baby version. A lot of the, the tubes that they have, they do have baby versions. I liked it. So I went ahead and bought the bigger version. So I do have the big version. I do have it in my bathroom. And I do use it morning and night as part of my skincare routine. I'll be doing that video soon. But uh, this one, is it a repurchase? As I indicated, I already bought the big one. So this was a good convincer. And I'll let you know if I see differences on my skin. And if you see a difference, let me know. The next thing that I went through is the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Sand. It has the big Dofu applicator, which I'm not a big fan because, you know, bacteria and stuff. So I have to put it like on a palette and it's this whole thing. Will I ever repurchase this again? I'm leaning to possibly no. And here's why. It's not because this is a bad foundation. It's not. It actually laid on my skin very nice. But 
it doesn't last very long on my skin. Like sometimes I would go halfway and like half of my foundation is like almost rubbed off. And even if you put powder to set it, sometimes it would, you would have bake everything. It's just, it's hydration, it's hydrating. But this is better when you mix it with other foundations. Now, a typical person, I mean a normal person has one foundation. They don't have like two, like six, seven, ten, or God knows how many foundations in their little pocket there. A normal person knew. So this, uh, it didn't wow me as much because I did have to work with it. So, repurchase, no. Is it a good foundation? Yes. It's just, I had to work with it a lot more than what I usually would be. So, there's that. I went through the Marc Jacob Invisible Undercover Coconut Primer. <laughs> now, Marc Jacob is one of my favorite brands. Like, I hope to work with them one day, with the brand one day. And it's all coconut. Now, if you're allergic to coconut, stay far away. I do like this. The only thing that I'm a little confused, let me see if I can, oh, yeah, it did have like a little bit. The only thing about this that I would say is that this is good if you have I would say normal because I have normal skin to dry because it feels more like a moisturizer than anything. It doesn't feel like it covers pores or anything like that. Nothing fancy like that. It's just more of just more to set the makeup on your face and to have some hydration. So like I said, for dry skin, this is good. Is this a repurchase? Sure. Because I don't have that many issues or this mix, like if I put a, a or primer to smooth the skin and this on top, you know, one of those days that I just, I need some hydration because no matter what happens sometimes in the morning, you just need it. Especially with this hot sunlight today, this will be good. So is this a repurchase? Yes. The next thing that I went through is the Manic Kadar Bloom Volumizing Mascara. This came in a boxy charm as well. I did use it up. I'm sure just this alone will let you know if I'm going to be looking for this mascara and purchasing it. As you can tell, it's very dry. It's very messy. It, it like the product scoops out. It's no, I'm gonna tell you this right out now. It did nothing for my lashes. It didn't lengthen, it didn't volume, it didn't anything. It's just left it very crunchy and it's like very dry. It's an extremely dry formula. So this, in my opinion, I, I'm not very familiar with the brand, but will I ever repurchase this? The Manicardar? No. The next product that I went through, and I have used this in a few of my videos, is that Hello Fat Bendy Avocado Concealer. Now this concealer, I recommend if you have a little bit of oily skin, this will be good, but it's very, very thin. If you see a little interruption, I do apologize. My car decided to say it's full, so I had to go to my Mac and reformat it, so my apologies. But I only have a few more products left. Now this concealer, I recommend for people that have oily to normal skin, I wouldn't recommend this to dry because this is not very moisturizing. Also, it's very thin. It's not very thick, like the sharp, shark, 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 the shark, see now I want to say shark, the, the tart shaped tape, there you go, tart shaped tape, Woo! I forgot the name for a second, so it's not as thick as that, it's not as full coverage as that, it's not, this is just one of those no makeup makeup looks, you want something light, now if you have extremely dark circles, this will not cover it, my dears, like none, but it has, like, I bought it personally because of the avocados, one of my favorite things to eat, I'm very healthy, so I like it. This, like I said, would it be a repurchase? Yeah, sure, I probably will, because they don't have very heavy dark circles and it's mostly for lighting. So one of those my extremely light makeup days, I would wear this. So if this a repurchase, sure. It's just if I want to go more glam or wear a little heavier makeup, this will not be it. The next product I went through is the NARS Natural Rated Longwear Foundation. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. And Pentagonia. Now, this foundation I do like. Will I repurchase it? No. Reason being is because even though it's nice full coverage, it blended well, I have the same issue. It did not last very long on my skin. Like, if I put it, let's say it's 8 a.m., it will last me maybe up to 5 o'clock. Past that, it's just like faded or like certain places still full coverage and it's just. No, this is the one that you're gonna have to keep looking at yourself in the mirror and keep patting it. And I have normal skin. If you have oily skin, this will melt off like very quickly. If you have dry skin, it probably lasts a little better. But for me, the fact that I have to like really maintenance it, put powder, make sure it's there, I don't have 
have time for that. I have too many things going on with my music, and then I do have a regular job, and it's just, yeah, no. So is this a repurchase? No. The next thing that I went through is a chocolate brownie Too Faced cocoa powder brow pencil. Now, is this a repurchase? If you've been on my channel for a while, you see what I use? That actually would be a dumb question. Of course, as a repurchase. This is my favorite brow pencil, like, ever. Besides the fact that it's chocolate, <laughs> I go through these quickly. And this is, like, maybe my fourth, fifth pencil. And I'm using another one as we speak. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to expand, but it's just, uh, I've tried others, and it's just, I'll show you another one that I've tried, and it's just, like, mm. But this is definitely a repurchase. As I indicated 10 seconds ago, I have another eyebrow pencil, so you cannot tell me I'm not trying to expand. Mm -hmm. Evidence. It's the Wonder Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. This, it does have a spoolie. It's a very nice spoolie, but it's very thin. Like if you don't have, like I picture this if you have a lot of brows, like a lot of bushy brows, and you just want to do a little bit of filling, this would be perfect. Now this, come in one shape which is universal which I don't like those. This seem a little dark for me. The pencil, I don't know if you're able to see it, it's very very thin. There's like very little left but with mine, like I don't know if you're able to see it. I have to like literally, you see it breaks. I have to literally like push down so hard to get any color in. Now I don't have very bushy brows but I don't have like very little brows. I do have enough. I just have to create a little bit of a tail like on one of these. I can't remember which side. But other than that, that's it. But this one, I just feel like I have to push so hard on my skin and I feel like I'm hurting my skin. So I don't like it. So this would be okay if it was a little bit more pigmented. Wonder Beauty, just letting you know. If this was a little bit more pigmented and spread the variety. Don't just stick with taupe. Spread it. Because I usually like red, because, you know, red hair. Auburn, pop of colors. The taupe, no. So is this a repurchase? No, because it hurt my skin. And we made it, my friends. My last and final empty product is the Mar Velvet Lip Liner in Wamiya. Now this is my favorite, favorite lip liner. And if you're wondering why, it's because it's nice and smooth, it's nude, and it's just, it's fantastic. Like NARS, even though I didn't like much of their foundation, it is one of my favorite brands. Hope to work with them one day. This is very smooth, creamy, it stays on your lips. It works, like it plays well with every lip, lipstick and lip gloss I've ever tried. No issues. Is this a repurchase? Oh yes. Now, we made it to the end of the video. Yeah! We made it. Treat yourself, get some chocolate, nice, you know, ice cream sundae, mm -hmm. some popcorn, you know, just, just go treat yourself. Treat yourself. So, thank you so much. I hope this video was helpful because like I indicated, I think empty videos are good because the person has used the products for a while to the very end to let you know if it was good or not instead of those, you know, first impressions. But that could just be, let me know your thoughts, comment below. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember, please consider subscribing. To follow me on all of my social medias at Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and even Snapchat. All the exact same handle at any blue singer as well as my IMDb page in the Lopez. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And one last thing before you leave. Remember, be safe, be kind, be careful. I love you, I miss you, and I'll see you on my next video. I'll see you soon. And also remember, let me know what else you would like to watch down in the comments below. Let's chat and continue on. I'll see you soon.